Greetings, dapplings, and welcome to a new first stage for the channel, where today we're going to be checking out the delightful little puzzle game Peglin, which has no small amount of uh, commonality with Peggle, if you're familiar with that, but also with uh, a little bit of a splash of Slay the Spire added in. If that sounds like an unlikely combination, uh, well, it is very, very eclectic, I will grant you, but incredibly, incredibly fun. Peglin is a pachinko roguelike, uh, pachinko being the game uh, upon which uh, Peggle was very, very heavily based. And the Slay the Spire elements, well, they're all the way throughout. You, you gather a deck, or in this case, a collection of balls that you can use on the pachinko-like board to engage in RPG combat with your various relics and abilities picked up along the way. It is an interesting game to try and describe, but a fantastically Moorish game to play. Once you pick this up, you will probably find it difficult to put it back down. Now, this is a game in early access. It is available on Steam. And if you're interested in picking up the game, then you can find a link on where to get it down below in the video comments. And while you're down there, if you enjoyed the video and uh, decide you'd like to see some more, then uh, do consider dropping a like or a comment down there as well. But with that all said and done, let's go ahead and jump into a game. Peglin. Peglin is a jack of all trades with access to almost all orbs and relics. Flexibility and adaptability are the keys to Peglin's victory. More classes are coming soon. Uh, so already, uh, we we don't have any other classes as far as I'm aware. I'm, I'm not sure if there are other classes already uh, unlockable, but uh, it seems that that might not be the case just yet. But uh, this would be very much like so, uh, Slay the Spire and uh, being able to select the various classes which would have a uh, weight towards a certain playstyle. Now we get to pick up a, uh, a key item, a relic, to start our run. Special button, the board will contain one additional critical orb, or critical peg rather. Rallying Heart, post-battle healing is increased by 1% for each orb in your deck. Okay, fair enough. And Rifilibuster, whenever the board is refreshed, deal damage to targeted enemy equal to the number of pegs restored. Uh, okay, I think we're going to go with the Rifilibuster, sure. Now, I've not got any particular experience with this game, certainly not enough to strategize, but uh, we'll probably uh, default to my usual Slay the Spire strategy of try and fight all of the mini-bosses in order to gain as many relics as you possibly can. And as you can see, the inspiration for from uh, Slay the Spire is, is quite significant. Are there actually any mini-bosses on, uh, on this map? No, there are not, but there are quite a few treasure chests, so we are going to want to favor the right, I would say. Lots of question mark areas, lots of battles. After each battle, we'll have an option to get an orb, but uh, chests and mini bosses have an option for certain relics, and then the bosses have significant relics available. Well, as long as we can get to this side, I suppose it doesn't really matter too much, we could go ahead and try and hit as many of the uh, potential events as we can on our way down towards these chests. But I think maybe hitting a couple of uh, fights here and there is probably going to be wise for us because that'll expand our collection of attacks. So with that said, this is the board. Up on the top here, we've got uh, our RPG combat, our little peglin over there, got a certain amount of health, as do the enemies, each enemy. Uh, there is quite often an overflow of enemies, and more enemies get added to the board as the game progresses. There are our relics, and this is our set of, uh, of uh, peglin balls that we can use. Now, this will get quite extensive. When we've used all of them, we have to refresh, and that takes a turn in which time the enemy can move. On the board, we've got regular pegs, we've got critical pegs, we've got refresh pegs, which will completely reset the board, and we've got bomb pegs, which uh, cause explosions, but they do need to be primed first. Over here, this tells us how much damage our orb will do. It will do two damage on a regular peg, or that is to say, each peg that it hits before it reaches the bottom of the board will add two damage to the attack. However, if you're hitting critical pegs, you'll gather four damage. Now, what does a critical look like? Well, since there's only one critical, oh, actually, there's another critical there. This, I happen to know, the dag orb, really isn't a very good orb except for critical. So I'm going to try and avoid this critical for now. We're just going to go down this direction and see what we can do. There we go. And uh, this is basically the game. Very familiar to many of you. If you enjoyed Peggle, you are going to enjoy this. I can almost guarantee that. But there we go. Did a little bit of damage. Not too much, but that's fine. And then the uh, critical orbs have moved around. 
Now, the Dag Orb, once we hit this, that isn't just the damage that it does from hitting this. All of these pegs then become critical pegs. They change color, and each one will give us seven damage instead of one, which is something we very much want. So there we go. We'll start adding these points up. The Dag Orb can sometimes be quite good, or, you know, not, if it just decides to fall down into the gutter. Oh, well. Uh, well, this is now given us an opportunity to hit some of the bombs. And as I said, they do need to be primed and then activated. So the fuses are lit and uh, hitting one causes the, the orb to jump quite a lot. But having an orb activated tosses an orb, uh, sorry, a bomb from the, the peglin, or rather having a bomb activated. Uh, not just throwing the ball around the board, which can lead to great success, but this damages every enemy on the board. So that's a guaranteed 50 to everyone. And if we, there we go. We've already killed every single slime on the board. There we go. Rimuru would be quite upset with that statement. I apologize. There we go. Hop. Now, we've got a new orb, the Jack Orb Lantern. The orb puns are everywhere in this game. You're just going to have to get used to it. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this orb will return to the top of the pegboard one time. Can target any enemy. I don't believe we have much of a say in which one that's going to target, though. We've got the rub orb, extra bouncy. We've also got the orbsium. <laughs> okay. It's very dense. Activates each peg two times. Can target any enemy. Um, activated uh, pegs contribute to our attack damage. Uh, we'll go with that jack orb lantern. Sure. Let's go ahead and grab you. Now we can choose in which direction we want to go, but I would kind of like to go down here. If we went down there, I believe we take damage. And this is how you decide the directions you're going to go in. It won't always be possible to easily navigate. Sometimes you'll try to go a certain way and you'll go the other way because you'll bounce off something. So that actually adds a little bit more, more randomness to your navigation through the map. The woods grow darker and darker as you progress until you find a clearing where it is pouring rain. Embrace the lightning, sprint and dodge. Uh, embrace the lightning. As you walk into the middle of the clearing, you're struck by lightning. You shiver as the energy courses through you, but it harmlessly congeals in your satchel in the form of a ball lightning. Okay, nice. Uh, we'll head down in this direction now. I guess it really didn't matter too much where we went. We would get what we wanted one way or another, more fights or another opportunity to get random. All right, so we've got significantly higher health enemies now. We've also got ball lightning zaps an additional nearby... Um, peg every bounce can target any enemy critical hit attacks all enemies in a targeted column very nice indeed this is a very random field some of the fields are basically artwork pertaining to the enemies or they have something to do with the enemies in some way or another but this one is a little bit all over the place you found a ball lightning these orbs can pop additional pegs with chain lightning they can also attack any enemy your target you target on the screen to target an enemy click on them you will see a targeted re uh, reticule appear oh that's fantastic Ball lightning is one of the best ways to deal with pesky ranged enemies. Duly noted. So, ah, right, I see, I see, I see. Well, let's go ahead and pop this. There we go. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. We are going to do so much damage here. I don't know if there's actually any benefit to hitting multiple, um, multiple crits at the same time. I really don't know. Well, that was actually quite effective. But I can only assume these things are going to hit like trucks when they get to me, so let's try and not let them. If we can avoid it. Uh, there we go. Reset the board twice. We're using up the reset, unfortunately. But okay. Now that's going to take this one out first, and then... Oh, no. I was going to say we were going to be able to take uh, out its buddy with the uh, dag orb, but sadly... Corpse. You never expect it. Right, well... That's done a decent chunk of damage. Uh, we won't get through this, so it's largely going to be wasted, unfortunately. That would have been perfect against you, but oh well. Uh, Jack Orb Lantern, let's get you in there. Crit is going to be better because you'll gain two points per orb has struck. Okay, well, that wasn't that great, but sure. You're probably getting to within um, striking distance. That was the worst throw. I was hoping it would hit the reset board. Unfortunately, we were reloading just as it arrived, so it got a move against us, but, uh, oh, it just straight up died. Um, oh, yes, of course, Refillibuster. <laughs> 
Right, yeah, no, fair enough. Uh, we haven't really taken much damage, so I'm going to upgrade Norb, but I kind of want to see what we an upgrade over here. Much like, uh, like say, the Spy, you can upgrade your cards, but with this, you can upgrade it several, several times. I don't know if there's a, a, an upper maximum, but let's have a look. Zap's additional enemy bounce zaps up to two additional um, pegs every bounce. Can target any enemy, critical attacks. I, it doesn't increase the damage, but it can hit more pegs, which is very interesting. What about you? Increases the old damage overall. This can jump to the top two times now. That would be very nice. The Dag Orb, up to 10 damage per. Oh, one of the stones. Honestly, very respectable damage there. But I think we're going to go with Ball Lightning, sure. Uh, and at this point, let's head on down. Oh, okay. We're not going that way. Oh, oh, we are. We No, no, that's the wrong place. Damn it. Worst place. I would have been okay with you going over there, frankly, but... Uh, oh, well. Let's see what we got. Now, these can be combat as well. Oh, we've got a chest. Very well. We've got the uh, refresh if. Whenever an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Wow, that's going to be a very nice synergy. That is going to be a very, very nice synergy. Okay, I accept. Uh, I do not know if there's any particular benefit to clearing a board when you're going for uh, from a chest. No idea whatsoever, but uh, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Okay, we've got uh, got a couple of enemies here, and these are different pegs, uh, different tiles. They don't disappear initially. The leaf symbol down there, tree symbols, I think. Okay, I, I get it, I get what you're going for, game. Uh, let's go this way. Let's just try and work our way through. There we go, hitting a couple, and eventually they, they pop. Oh, a little bit of extra damage there. We are probably going to want to try and take these out. Uh, let's go over here. Hit a crit. Uh, that does work on these ones as well. A little bit of extra damage as well. That was enough to do damage to our selected enemy. Uh, and took them out wholesale. Uh, let's grab all of these. See what we can do. Might be able to get a decent bit of uh, damage there. Ah, I was hoping it would bounce off that bomb. And no. Twice. Oh, never mind. Oh, so close. So incredibly close. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. There we go. Uh, I now want to select you. There we go. A little bit of damage, but that's nothing we need to worry about. I'm worried about what you're going to do from the back there, though. All right, let's uh, head straight down and see what you can do. That is ridiculously effective. Now, it doesn't do a lot of damage in and of itself, to be fair. But it is quite a, a nice uh, damage dealer if you've got a large board, uh, large board of pegs, frankly. We've already done a lot of damage thanks to the refresh. Uh, this is not a very good board because most of these pegs just lead us straight down. Which isn't the best, frankly, but oh well. And these pegs are not really arranged so I can slide along them, which would have been amazing. Uh, are we going to be able to get down there? Let's try and refresh and then bounce. No, we weren't able to bounce onto the uh, crit there. And as you can see, Dag Orb's just really not uh, an amazing weapon if you can't hit the crits. Granted, this. <laughs> Stream Man is doing an awful lot of damage to me that I dislike. I feel rather shockingly bad. Uh, okay, well, that was an interesting one. We managed to do a load of damage thanks to the refresh. Uh, Memorb deals an additional 0.34 damage for each peg hit this battle can target any enemy can all only be used once per battle wow okay uh, Poltorb Geist passes through regular pegs while traveling upwards attacks all enemies all of them Nosf <laughs> Nosfabatu heals you and damages targeted enemy for one times amount healed deals 15 damage yourself when fired self damage increases by 7 this battle I kind of want to try this. Sure. I feel like this is going to have interesting, unforeseen consequences. We are definitely in, in a position to kill ourselves with this weapon, but sorry, we'll try. We'll do our best. Oh, you stumble on a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. Duplicate all orbs or duplicate a random orb. Hmm. 
what are the odds that I'm going to end up with one of these? I mean, this is guaranteed to get me to uh, level two ball lightning, but I would end up with three extra regular stones, but it would also use up less health. Uh, this will mean that I won't have to reload for a long time, I suppose, but uh, I, there is a lot to say about not filling your deck with useless, useless cards. Oh, well, okay, I, I guess I just don't get to choose which side I'm going to go to. Oh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. The mirror was uh, causing me to remove items either side. We've been very lucky with the event so far. Not, not any combat so far. For se from seemingly nowhere, an inferno ignites in a circle around you. There are two fireballs bouncing and circling around each other in the center of the ring. Grab the fireballs. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to lose the HP, but at the same time, I don't know what fireballs are, so sure. You grab the fireballs, and they are as hot as expected for a split second. Then they cool as their energy flows through you, allowing you to stow them safely in your satchel. Your hands are worse for wear, but the circle of fire has subsided, allowing you to leave freely. Uh, we want to go in this direction. Right, what relic are we going to get at this point? I must know. Uh, the Eye of Turtle. Orb and Relic Battle Rewards contain an additional option to choose from. Ooh. Now that one is very nice. Uh, I would like to go this way. And then hopefully we get to go that way next. Blue slimes, bats, red slimes. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, well, let's hit the dag orb. Uh, crit first and foremost. Okay, not the best, but still not terrible, I suppose. Uh, I don't like you being up there, frankly. <laughs> the fact that we've got two dag orbs is kind of amusing. Uh, let's see what we can do. Hit two crits, refreshed as well. Can we hit that bomb a few times? No, I guess not. Okay, well, that was not bad. Very nice. That was actually very, very nice indeed. I, I deeply approve. All right, let's try and get down here with a decent chunk of damage. I guess we don't get our wish. That's okay. Uh, if we take you out, we might cause this one to die. Well, this one can target any enemy. Mm. Mm. All right, well, this is going to do 15 damage to me straight off the bat. But let's see what we can do. Please actually heal me for a decent amount. You suck. That was a net loss. That orb is going to be great on, on battles where there are lots of pegs for me to play with, but uh, well, we'll see again. I think I can actually bin it, though, if I really don't want to play it, but we'll try. Right, let's see something. Hit it again. Yes. Okay, there we go. Some nice bounces. Still haven't really recovered our health, unfortunately, but nice bit of damage there. Bit of... Uh, Overflow damage as well. The Jack or Blanton. I keep going for that side and expecting something else to happen. Why? I don't know. There we go. Uh, we're back on the other. No, go to the right. Uh, sorry, the left. No. Oh, maybe you're doing exactly the other right. <laughs> the correct left. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. That should hit an enemy in a moment. Um. Right, well, let's try just straight down here. Oh, <laughs> all right, never, never mind. The, the orbs have decided of their own volition that they really, really, really like the right. Fair enough. I can't say you're wrong. I wish you would select something else, but fair enough. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Oh, wow. Okay, this uh, lightning orb is getting very powerful. Two bombs will finish this fight for us. All right, we get a new orb. The bold orb, it's big. Attack pieces all enemies. Only hits enemies on the ground, though. Refresh orb refreshes the board every time six pegs are hit, up to ten times. Uh, we've got the infern orb, lighter than other orbs, detonates bombs in one hit and deals two damage to self. Or the all, uh, all orb nothing. It does no damage on regular pegs. Weak regular damage that cannot be modified. Massive damage on crit. I mean, that's not terrible. Or we can go with the bold orb. I like the idea of this being able to go through all enemies. So sure, we'll take that. Uh, and at this point, we can now easily make our way down here. There's probably a lot of strategy in clearing the path that you know you want to take. That I am not doing at all. Right, let's find out what relic we get. Gardener's Gloves. Attack steal plus 10 damage to plants. 
Okay, very, very specific orb there. I go into the boss and I've got so little health. Oh my lord. Up to, yeah, 56. Uh, we've got the Spiral Slayer. Start each battle with plus one uh, Mew Circle. Mew Circle X grants all orbs plus X plus zero. Oh! Okay. So, would this gradually... <laughs> Spiral Slayer. Would this gradually build up over time, or is it just per battle? Because this is going to mean that all regular pegs deal one damage, which would have meant the all orb nothing would... Oh, wait. It said it couldn't be modified. Interesting. I wonder if that is a hard and fast rule or whether certain things can modify it and you just can't modify it directly like with an upgrade. You encounter a weathered old peglin flipping a poker chip through their nimble fingers. Do you consider yourself a gambler? Uh, flip the chip. You lose the flip and the other peglin's eyes gleam with mischief as you feel a little weaker. Thanks for that. Care to flip again? Yes. Ah, damn it. Again. Oh my lord. We're going to keep going. Will, will they ever let me win? Okay, down to 40. <laughs> Fine! You can have your, like, 16 health. <laughs> we were already below half health. It's fine. Uh, this is not fine, though. There we are. I, I feel that... Uh, <laughs> that Peglin was, was trying to teach me a lesson. Not sure whether I learned it or not, but... Oh. Nice. Did a chunky bit of damage there. Now, this could be very helpful. Yes, it'll cost me 15 health, but we're going to guarantee gain extra. With, like our, The regular pegs are going to do more damage here, so we may be able to get... We're already healing above what we had before. Oh, this is fantastic. This is amazing. Okay, 46 damage and a bomb. That was well worth keeping in our deck. What? I greatly disapprove. Uh, I just want this known for the records. Uh, okay, this this orb is gigantic. What was I expecting? It's something called a bold orb. Ow. Rude. Okay, so you're just going to keep dropping things around. I don't really approve. Uh, well, let's go and grab this bomb in one hit. Uh, wow. That really did bounce around quite a lot, I've got to be honest. Okay, fair enough. Uh, don't really need the crit, but sure. 32 damage. Very nice indeed. I, I've got to be honest, I'm starting to really appreciate those orbs. Initially, I thought I was just building a, a meme build that was just going to get me killed, but apparently not. Honestly, I should have targeted you, really. Um, and I should have also not gone down there. Let's see if we can't activate this bomb. Yes, we can. Perfect. And we've activated crits before the uh, Jack Orb Lantern jumped back down, so we got a load more damage. Very nice indeed. And we attacked the tree. The tree did nothing wrong, though. Mm. All right, well, let's see what we can do. There's a load of pegs back on the board, and oh my lord, this is ridiculous. Imagine what we can do if we can upgrade that. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. If we can upgrade that to the point that we can do uh, four hits per... four pegs per hit, that will be amazing. Want to hit one of the refreshes, though, if we can. Uh, let's see if we can get that in the right place. Ah, damn it, we missed it. Oh, wait. Uh, well, I mean, we've activated both, so there is potential here for us to get two bombs. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, that was, that was garbage, but... Oh, well. And then we got the uh, refresh. That was actually pretty... Hard. We've already brought that down to about halfway down. Nice. Uh, all right. I just unlocked an achievement. It was not your time. Have I taken a total amount of damage equal to what would have killed me at the beginning, but because I've been healing? Maybe. I can only, I can only assume that's what that achievement was for. Based on the name. Hello. I would very much like you not to be alive anymore. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to easily be able to achieve that. Not with a daggle. But. 
can do a little bit of damage as well. Oh, never mind. I wasn't paying any attention to the boss's health whatsoever. All right, that wasn't too bad. Uh, upgrade an orb or skip. I will 100% upgrade an orb. Let's have a look what the Nos, uh, Nos 4 Batu can do. Heals you and dam damages targeted enemy for two times the amount healed. Deals 15 damage yourself when fired. Self damage increases by six this battle. That is really nice. Um, but three additional every bounce. That's a difficult one. Where is my uh, bold orb? Nice big amount of damage there. The Infern Orb, a lot of damage there as well. But I think ultimately we need to upgrade the Nos 4 Batu. And we can take a Relic. Matryoshka Shell. Every shot has multi-ball, one, but attacks get minus two, minus two. Uh, we've got several things that would do no damage as a result of that. Sealed Conviction. All attacks gain plus two, plus two, but you have minus one Orb discards. I'm not using them anyway. Gift that keeps giving. All pegs have durable. Durable pegs can be activated three times in one shot before they break. Hagglin Satchel. Randomly adds two orbs to your deck, then randomly upgrades four times. Mm, that one does sound nice. But if I have a look over here. Yeah, we've got too many orbs that would literally do no damage if we, uh, if we took the Matryoshka doll. Multi-ball sounds amazing. Causes the orbs to split into two when hitting a peg. Each additional level allows multi balls to split an additional. T that sounds ridiculous. Maybe if I no, this is not an orb. I can't upgrade it. Um, I think sealed conviction or gift that keeps giving. The fact that pegs would gain durable and can be activated three times in one shot before they break would allow. Well, that would abs po possibly absorb all of the hits from our Lightning Orb. So, you know, I'm going to go with Seal Conviction, I think. The forest has been complete. Now we move on to the next. Okay. Now we've got some uh, mini-bosses. We're definitely going to take the right side. Which may end up being the... Oh. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. Now, this is 5-6, which is kind of a bonkers amount of damage for just a regular orb to do. We've already done a little bit of damage thanks to the refresh. This is a particularly interesting synergy here. I've got a feeling that this is a game that can get ridiculous synergies, given the uh, right draws. Uh, sure, let's hit both of those. There we go. And again... And if we can hit that again, this is going to be ridiculous, but nah, that's sad. Oh, well. 11 damage is fine. Now, bold orb. I would... F you're such a chonky orb. That did no damage, but it's fine. I was aiming for the crit, but... Uh, still, this is going to do an amazing amount of damage once it actually gets there. 75 damage to both. I accept. Don't really want to know what you can do if you get to me, though. Bounce around a little bit. Interesting that some of the pegs have got a much um, brighter border. I wonder. I wonder if that means that uh, if there's some sort of... It's keeping track of which ones have been struck and which ones haven't been. And there would be some sort of uh, achievement at the end. Whereby if you've hit every peg at least once on the board. Then that you get a... Uh, benefit from that. Yeah, we've got an amazing synergy going on here. This is 4-4 four, four now. I'm considering... Is this our level 2? Yes, it is. We're going to do twice as much damage as we heal. That being said, will it do any damage if I don't heal? No. Okay. Duly noted. I actually need to be in a... For that to really do a lot of damage, I need to be wounded. Interesting. Very interesting. Otherwise, the most damage I can do is 15. Still, that means I can fire it for three, so, you know, still not terrible. Having the board moving around really does change this. It is so difficult to predict where, where things are going to go in a glorious way. There we go. 
Uh, I think there are only four pegs that we hadn't uh, hit there. We can upgrade an orb. Oh, perhaps I've got the most amount of orbs that I can have now. Interesting. Uh, we could go for this again. Uh, it's now only reducing the self-damage. Well, in that case, I think I would rather upgrade this one instead and have both of them able to uh, provide me with uh, two times healing. I feel that that's going to be a very, very big uh, deciding factor in big fights. You just barely notice an elongated figure lurking in the shadows. You hear an oddly alluring voice in your head. Do you crave power, little Peglin? Would you like to make a deal? Max HP? You know what that voice is? You might be thinking, ah, oh, it's, it's a Striga. No, no, it's not. It's hubris. It's my hubris specifically. Haunting me through every playthrough. <sighs> I do not believe that this is very likely to end well for me, but I'm really curious about that special rat. But for once, I'm going to say no to hubris. The figure makes no movement to follow you, and you're out of the clearing in just a few seconds, though it takes much longer for the chill to leave your body. See, I am capable of saying no to hubris occasionally. You stumble into a kitchen and are quickly accosted by a peglin dressed up as a human chef. They've crudely attempted to hide their ears, and the humans seem to be buying it. What are you doing in here? You're going to blow my cover! They squawk at you. Please, take this relic I found and get out of here. Accept the bribe and sneak away. A uh, fresh bandana. The board will contain one additional refresh. Sure, okay. You're able to sneak out through the nearest door, and you leave the other peglin to its business. Oh. Well, I really do want to go this way, so please allow me to... No, don't go that way. Yes, that's the correct direction. Yes, sort of. Yes, there we go. Okay, mini boss time. Much like Slay the Spire, mini bosses have uh, relics that you can choose from, but they are obviously much harder fights. Okay, one of the odds that you're some sort of magic caster. You're definitely ranged. I dislike you the most, though. Let's head on in this direction, see if we can't activate a bomb. There we go. Perfect. And a refresh on top. Okay, not the most amount of damage, but good enough. Interesting, I have to get through the shield first. Ouch. Also ouch. Triple out, rude. Okay, fine. I'm gonna continue focusing on the magic caster. Gank the mage. There we go. I mean, we'll get through you in one hit, which is good. And a little bit of extra damage because you're targeted. Ah, uh, I knew it. I knew you were going to be up to no good. Uh, right, we definitely need to get that bomb active. Okay, never mind, we're not going to get that bomb active. The game has decided that we don't need that, in fact. What we need is to go somewhere entirely different. Still, we're racking up quite a lot of damage here. Not a terrible attack, to be fair. But we are taking a lot of unnecessary damage here. Greatly disapprove. Another mage. Uh, let's see about bouncing into that bomb. There we go. We managed to get in there before we hit the refresh, so we were stuck in there, so we guaranteed the, the uh, double hit. This will kill the mage there. Can I retarget? Sadly, no. Okay, well, uh, you're gonna pop. You're gonna go down. We're then going to hit you, take you out. Okay, that wasn't a bad round, to be fair. I really hope we can keep you alive long enough that I can get to the point where I can get the uh, Nos uh, for Batu. I need those heals, frankly. I would like to start targeting you, if I can. Uh, this is going to hurt them a lot. Uh, well, I suppose... Yeah, yeah, we can target anyone, so we should be able to just take out their healer. There we go. Uh, I would like next to take out their archer. Right, it, does, it actually doesn't matter whether I hit the crits or not, so I may as well just leave them there. And hit everything else instead. There we go. Uh, refresh wouldn't be bad. Okay. That's a goodly amount of damage healed. I would like to target you, because we're not going to get through this shield in a second. Granted, we are now 
completely limited on how much damage I can do. That that last heal was fantastically potent. It is a shame that I don't do a lot of damage with this, but... Uh, oh well. Still, we did 30 damage because of the doubling effect. Now, this may well do a lot of damage. Well, never mind. We dropped it down a little bit too fast. Uh, let's go over here. Still, I mean, they're approaching half health. And before they can get to us as well, I kind of feel that they might be more dangerous to me in close combat than they are where they currently are behind this guy. So I'm happy to try and just not kill them, I say, as I do enough damage to kill... Well, okay, fair enough. We're going to have to find out how much damage you do in direct melee combat. Very well. That was the worst play ever because uh, I don't actually need the crit, but okay. 10 damage per. Well, that is not good. That is unfortuitous in an extreme. We very much need to rack up the damage here. I need 118 next, please, and thank you. Over there. There we are. More pegs on the board all the time. I mean, to be fair, it's 4-4 with this, this orb, and we'll get a, another chance. Just bounce more in this direction. That's right. Bounce that way. That's still okay, actually. There we go. We got this. I think going for just the raw damage, the brute force approach has been the right play here. I could heal 20%. Uh, well, we're far away from having to deal with a boss, so I think going for this is fine. Um, let's see. We could really upgrade Bold Orb, and Bold Orb goes through all enemies, which is nice. Or I could just further upgrade you, because you can attack any enemy I particularly want. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, Echo Chamber, all attacks have Echo 10. Echo X deals X percent of the previous attack's damage as bonus... Wow, and considering we're rolling high damage numbers, that I think that one's already a winner. Alchemist's Cookbook. I have a 7% chance of refresh into bombs, but bombs deal minus 15% damage. So every peg has a chance of being a bomb. Or the Besties Hedge. Attacks gain plus 1, plus 0 for every uh, crit peg on the board. Hmm. I think it has to be the Anchor Chamber. Realistically. Right. And then we've got two mini-bosses... One after t after tether, uh, reflect four. I don't like what that might mean. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to do an enormous amount of damage to myself and die. But there's not much I can do about this. I've built a very high damaging build. Okay, didn't do nearly as much damage back to me. I am very thankful. Wow, a refresh is going to ruin this board. I'm surprised it isn't already dead. It, it is already dead. Very well. Okay, that one's still there, though, which is an interesting one. Not quite sure why, but okay. But yeah, on a board like this with the mirrors, where they're allowing me to wipe out more pegs, those refreshes do significantly more damage. And we're also stacking... 64 extra damage there. Now we're bringing 44 extra damage to the board. This is going to be glorious. Uh, I say with great confidence, and then it wasn't anything. It really wasn't glorious at all. Disapprove. Oh well. Uh, well, let's just try and get through here because I'm just going to hit this uh, mirror and I think it's going to reflect something back at me. Oh no, never mind. It did go straight through. I'm getting very low on health. I desperately need a heal orb. Uh, but I fear I'm probably going to die. Well, no, no, I'll probably kill it in one hit here, but... Uh, I wonder if this will carry over to the next battle? I can but hope, because there's a lot of damage. Alright. New orb. I can get the Pult Orb Geist. The Docked Orb deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit permanently removed from your deck after its use. I, I mean, that's kind of tempting. But uh, we've also got the Bramble. Applies Bramble 2 on hit. Brambles deal 6 damage per Bramble level to passing enemies. Huh. I, I think we have to go for heal 20%. There's literally no other option there. 
Let's just go straight down. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yes. Maybe no, no. Ah, poop. Oh well. Should have just gone straight down that. Now, we're going into a mini boss fight with significantly less health than I would like. And our entire deck has been refreshed. So once again, this is the problem with these decks being this large. This is why you kind of want to keep a deck concise to the, just the cards, or in this case, the orbs that you know you want to use. Now, thankfully, they don't do a lot of damage, but they are going to rack it up. And in fact, you are more dangerous in a way. So let's try and deal with you first. There they are. I don't think we quite had enough. Oh, no, we did. Nice. Now, you can heal, but you also do less damage, and you will sometimes use your turn to heal. Um, so, let's try and get over there to the crit. No, nope, never mind. Fair enough, then. I guess that's not on the cards for us today. Granted, we're still doing a fairly good amount of damage. I really... Oh, thank you. I was, gonna, I was about to say, I really, really need that... Uh, that... Uh, refresh. I don't think I'm going to... Uh, we're going to have to pull out the play of plays to make it through this, but I, th I think uh, Hubris won out anyway in the end. It didn't. It almost won in the first level. It didn't quite. But it did, did get me eventually. I mean, we'll take a little bit of damage, but... I mean, if we can hit that bomb, maybe. But there is no real guarantee I will. In fact, there's every guarantee I won't. Oh, I mean... Perhaps if we can hit this refresh, we might be in with a chance. No, don't dodge the refresh. Thank you very much. No, I mean we're not. Stop it. Uh, I want to bend this orb. <laughs> I can't take the two damage you're going to do to me. Whatever. That was ridiculous. Okay, so the play of plays has been played. This is just another lesson, once again, reminding me. Never assume that I have lost until I've actually lost. Defeat expected is defeat accepted. I accept no defeat. We somehow survived. I cannot afford to, to pass up the heal. Wall chicken. <laughs> I like it. Knife's Edge. Every shot is a crit when fired below 30% health. I mean... Heavy Shaft Potion. Activated crits also refreshes the board. I mean, that one would synergize amazingly. I think it has to be that. I can't take any extra damage. <laughs> We're in another big battle here. Okay, so, you know, Hubris is still still lurking. It, it, it wants its prize. It will not accept that we didn't give it its, its prize earlier. Uh, I need to take out one of you quite badly. So let's start work on that. How did you miss the bomb? I refuse to accept this. Oh, well, that's a lot of damage coming my way. I very much hope that I was going to be able to take you out in one go. Still probably can. Um, so you're down. I would love it if I could retarget. Please let me retarget. Remember, crits are also board refreshes now, so. No, go back that way. That was the correct way to go. Still, we're racking up ridiculous amount of damage. Unfortunately, we're going to apply this with shield rather than it. Oh, never mind. That was actually pretty good. Got seven health. If I don't kill you, or you, with this shot, I die. I was really hoping for that bomb, I'm going to be honest. Ow. <sighs> Despite our amazing plays. Sadly, that's it. Look, we've got a little halo and everything. Wings. Kind of cute, even in death. But that is Peglin, everyone. A roguelike deck-building pachinko game. 
uh, I am having an amazing amount of fun with this. I this I, as I said is a very Moorish game. It looks on the surface like something you can just pick up and put down. Uh, in reality, it's something you pick up and then you realize that uh, it's the next day and you don't know where the time went between you picking the game up and realizing it was the next day. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that uh, if you do pick this up, you will share some of your best orb synergies down in the comments below. But that really is it from me. So until next time, and as always, do leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next. Do take care, everyone.